Now, just so you don't think that all the fun stuff is only done on Linux, we have a Windows version of a Packet Crafter. Here's one of many, Colasoft Packet Builder, and I'm just going to launch it. And um, this allows us to, through a GUI, set different things. I'm going to have Wireshark handy also, just so that we can capture what we do. Let me launch Wireshark. And I'll start, I'll double click Ethernet Zero, and it's capturing. Okay. So what you do with Colasoft is you click Add. You just click Add, and you have a drop down box. You can pick an ARP, an IP, a TCP, or a UDP. So let's try the ARP packet first. And you can have like a time delay or a time uh, separation, if you will. Click OK. So now here is just a raw um, ARP packet, and you can see that the destination is a broadcast. The source is all zeros. Doesn't really matter in our case. Uh, if you wanted to do, say, an ARP request, you could uh, come down to the IP part, and you could say um, uh, the uh, destination IP is, in other words, who has IP something. So we could say who has IP 192.168.75.16 please tell, and this could be spoofed, or it could be the real thing, please tell 192.168.75.154. And so that would be just a basic ARP request. And click over here. Now you notice that whatever you create here, it's queued up, ready to run here. And if we scroll over, we can see this is an ARP request. So in order to run this, we would just, um, well, first pick the adapter to make sure. So click Adapter. And in VMware, we only have one adapter, so there's only one to pick. So we click OK. And we could actually queue up a whole bunch of packets if we want and send one or send them all. We'll just right-click this one packet we created, and we will send the selected packet. And what we'll do is we'll do burst mode, meaning there's no delay. Uh, and we'll do what's called a loop, meaning we'll do like 10 of them. So um, we'll start. And you can actually watch two, three, four, five. Well, in the meantime, going to Wireshark, you can see these ARP requests coming in. And they'll stop when Colasoft is done. So let's stop here. And let's just take a look. Let's expand this. So we can see, here is an ARP broadcast. Who has 192.168.75.16? Tell this guy. And you can see the response coming back from server 2016. That's me, and I'm here. So we crafted, we, we set up a bogus ARP request right there. And we could be spoofing with that too. So let's go back to Colasoft. Let's close this and let's, uh, we can right click this packet and we can delete it. And yes, we want to delete it. And let's click add and let's do like a fake TCP. Let's do a Christmas scan. So we'll click TCP packet and click OK. And what we'll do is we can again have a source and destination. Um, and so let's see here. Let's pick um, an IP. Our source IP is whatever we want it to be. We could have a destination IP. Um, let's actually make that to 192.168.75.16. And the source, if we want it to be spoofed, then we don't really even care. So um, in 75.16, we're just going to Wireshark it just to see the response. So I'm, I'm going to launch Wireshark here. I'm going to start a new Wireshark capture, continue without saving, uh, let it get running in the background. Sometimes you can be a little bit quick for Wireshark. have to give it a moment. Sometimes it has a bit of a delay time before we actually start seeing stuff. There it goes. OK. So um, now I'm going to set some TCP flags. And so the flags, you might recall that a Christmas scan is fin, push, and urgent. So let's raise, turn that to a 1, the urgent flag, the push flag, make sure I pick the right one, turn that to a 1, and then the fin flag, so that um, we want to find our fin flag, urgent, acknowledge, push, reset, end of data here. So. Now we've got this thing, and we are ready to send this guy. 
So let's right click and let's send, well there's only one packet to send, so send the selected packet. And let's do it like 10 times. And start. And you can see them coming along. Go to Wireshark and we can watch them come in. And we can see the reset axe coming in. See the fin push urgent right there? So we can see that uh, here is um, a fake address. And let me just zoom in a little bit so we can just see a little bit better. Here is a fake source address, 192.168.0.1, going to server 2016, sending, and I've zoomed so much I can't, we can't see too well. Let me just expand this, sending a Christmas scan, fin push urgent, and server 2016 responding back saying, reset ACK. What are you sending me these weird things for? So we have done a Christmas scan. So this is how you can use a GUI tool to do pa uh, packet crafting. Just like we did in Linux with Nmap and HPing3, we used Colasoft in Windows 2016.